हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट विंटेज मूवी टाइटल एनिमेशन इन आफ्टर इफेक्ट सी गाइस द एड स्मेल लाइक अ विंटेज इफेक्ट इट्स लुकिंग रियली गुड एंड सिंपल ट्यूटोरियल गाइस सो गाइस नाउ आई टीच यू हाउ आई क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ इफेक्ट सो स्टॉप गाइस आई गो टू फाइल एंड गाइस आई क्रिएट न्यू कॉम सो गाइस क्लिक ऑन हियर न्यू कंपोजिशन चेक एंड गाइस कंपोजिशन नेम लाइक अ मेन कॉम एंड गाइस ड्यूरेशन 10 सेकंड इज गुड फॉर मी एंड प्रेस ओके या एंड गाइस नाउ आई टेक न्यू सॉलिड लेयर सी गाइस दैट्स माय कलर सो गाइस कलर आई लाइक डार्क ब्लू एंड सी गाइस दैट माय एच कलर आई लाइक 230 एंड गाइस एस आई लाइक 100 एंड बी आई लाइक 10 एंड प्रेस ओके दैट्स माय डार्क ब्लू एंड गाइस नेक्स्ट वन आई टेक लिटिल बिट लाइटर सो न्यू सॉलिड लेयर and guys see that's my color and color code is like 210 so guys as i like 100 and b i like 15 is good and press okay yeah see guys that's my first one dark blue and guys second one little bit lighter okay so guys now next one go to on effect and presets here and guys i type v e n blend blind and apply to on second one like this And guys, increase. See, guys, that's my effect. And breadth size increase, like this. Yeah, right. Okay, so guys, now, see, guys, that's my transition. So guys, go to on zero frame and transition zero, and press animation key check. And guys, like a one second, and complexity, guys, I like fifty. Yeah. See, guys, that's my effect. And guys, now. I create rotation animation, rotation. So guys, I use polar. Select this polar coordinates and apply. And guys, see that's my intensity like a hundred. And guys, type change like this. Yeah, right. See guys, that's my effect. It's good. And guys, now I increase this one. That's my breadth size. Increase like a one four five. Yes, guys. Little bit change, like a one forty. Yeah, good. Okay, so guys, all is good. And now, guys, I create rotation animation. So guys, select your solid layer and press R. And guys, rotation check. So guys, holding Alt key and click rotation and press time star fifty enter. And guys, see that so preview check. Yes. See guys, that's my rotation effect, right? It's good. And guys, now I increase the size. And guys, go to last. Yeah. And guys, preview check. Yeah. Great. Okay. So guys, now I increase size. So guys, select this. So guys, go to on layer and solid layer setting. And see guys, that's my breadth size like a two thousand five hundred. And same two thousand five hundred and press OK. Yeah, much better, right? See guys, that's my like a vintage effect. Yeah, see guys, that's my rotation animation. It's good. And now guys, I apply this time guys like a honeycomb effect. So stop. And guys, see that's my main comb. And right click, guys. I take new solid layer. So guys, I change color like a dark blue. So like uh, this one, I like tan. And guys, see that's my S color, yeah. And guys, zero five, yes. See guys, that's my dark blue. So press OK. And guys, now effect and preset and type CC hex style and apply to on third one solid layer. Yes. See guys, that's my Style and guys, see that's my radius like a ten is good. So guys, see that's my rotation change like a twenty. And guys, more change. I like screen. Yes. See guys, that's my like a honeycomb effect. So guys, select your CC hex style and press Control D for more darkness. Yeah, much better. Fit two hundred percent check. Yes. And guys, go to on preview. So go to back and preview check. Yeah. Okay, see guys, that's my background. It's looking really good. And next one, guys, I apply text tool, text animation. For text animation, guys, stop. 
and guys i go to one project and guys i create new composition new com like a text and press ok and now guys go to on here text tool so guys type your movie title like a Eva. see guys that's my movie title and guys color i like white so i increase size increase like this like 250 250 check and guys go to our alignment alignment middle yes great okay so guys all is good and now guys duplicate this time so press ctrl d and guys go to down and guys i change text so guys double click and type your next one yeah so guys i change scale size like a 75 yes and guys alignment check and guys go to on up and center pivot check yes see guys that's my simple text and now guys i apply animation for animation guys go to on effect and presets and guys see that's my animation preset check go to on text and see guys that's my different different style of text animation presets and guys go to on curve and guys see that's my exit so guys apply to on first title effect first one apply like this so guys press animation check yeah see guys that's my default type of animation default animation okay so guys now i change some settings so press u see guys that's my 100 so guys i like 100 that's negative so guys minus 100 yes so guys little bit change this frame like a four second so select your second frame like this and guys select your and guys select your keys and press f9 yeah and press animation check yes see guys that's my like a vintage text animation and guys same apply this one so guys apply animation like this so press u select and guys go to on like a two second frame two second second one that's my second text and guys go to like five second check and guys press f9 okay so guys now i change same setting like a hundred and guys second one minus hundred and guys go to back and preview check yeah see guys that's my simple text animation and guys go to again back yeah okay so guys my text animation is finished now guys go to our main com and guys see that's my text com drag and drop yeah and guys now i change color front color so guys i like fill select fill apply to one text layer and guys i change color like a yellow t5 yeah see guys that's my color and now guys i apply this time shadow so guys press ctrl d so select and guys text shadow so guys fill color change so select your shadow layer and guys see that's my color so color 35 100 and guys i take 20 so press ok yes and see guys that's my shadow okay so guys next one i apply cc radial blur select cc radial blur apply to one shadow layer and guys amount i like guys take a 10 and guys see that's my stretch so use this one fading zoom and guys see that's my center i like minus 200 and guys second one minus 200 yes and guys see that's my shadow effect okay so guys now i apply darkness so use level so guys go to an effect and presets and type level select levels and apply see guys that's my channel rgb to change alpha and guys alpha input white change like a 35 enter yes see guys that's my shadow beautiful shadow effect right 
it's good so guys one more time preview and go to back and fit 200% check and guys play great okay so guys next one i apply some shape animation so guys i create new shape layer yes and guys i take this time pen tool and guys i create shape like this so holding shift key and guys create shape like this yeah see guys that's my simple shape so guys now go to an alignment here alignment check made one yes and guys select your scale size go to an up and center pivot check and next one guys i type text tool so guys i take new text layer text and guys type your letter like actor name so check and guys go to on here here yes guys little bit change some setting so guys go to on character and change color like this darker yes it's good so guys go to on here and up yes so guys now select your shape layer and guys little bit up like this and guys little bit increase like this yeah and alignment check alignment check and guys select your text tool and align yeah great okay so guys now i create animation so guys go to back and select your shape layer and press s letter and scale size check so guys see that's my lock and lock uncheck and guys go to like a zero like this and guys shift layer like 4.15 and increase this shape like this yeah and guys see that's my animation shape animation and guys select your keys and press f9 f9 check so guys select and i change graph editor like guys create graph like this yes great and guys one more time play great okay so guys now little bit align so guys select your both shape select your shape and guys typography and middle yes and now guys select your shape layer and press duplicate so press ctrl d go to an up so guys select your title and guys alpha mat check and guys go to back and guys preview check yes see guys that's my simple animation right it's looking really good so one more time play yes great okay so guys my text animation is finished and guys i apply some color so guys select and import check so guys simple drag and drop and guys scale size change so guys scale size like a 150 and guys i change opacity so press t guys opacity i like 20 is good yeah and guys see that's my mode add yeah okay so guys go to preview preview check yes see guys that's my final one it's looking really good that's my final movie title animation vintage movie okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you